What is up? This is Rakdar, and you're watching episode 20 of my Legend of Zelda Let's Play. As you can see, I've got Rudo on my head right now, and I've got the boomerang, which means it's time to go beat some giant electrified penises. And no, I'm not talking about that. Penises don't have... Like, are you, are you a silly goose? Penises don't have, like, spiky tips on the end. That's just weird. So if you thought that's what I was talking about, then you're absolutely wrong. The electrified penises of which I speak are, of course... Oh. And... This is the one I have to put Rudo down on this button. And we get to go fight... It's, I mean, that's obviously just... Whoever designed this was like... Let's, what's the most phallic thing we can possibly design? And now we have something. We're probably never going to use the... Uh, whoops. Did not mean to do that. That's why a foolish gentleman like myself should never have uh, uh, usable, consumable items just randomly equipped. Let's see here. Alright, so this guy, pretty simple. We come over here, he's gonna come down and try and dick whip us, but we just, we just take out a boomerang. Oh. And as he comes down to try and hit us, we just throw a boomerang at him. Or we get hit like a dumbass. Man, I am not playing so hot. Ah, there we go. And I think uh, this enemy, yep, they rule of three. And we get some kind of chest. This is either going to be, I don't know, the dungeon map or the compass. Let's find out. Man, this is a great time for me to be playing Legend of Zelda because I'm totally doing laundry right now and it's like, what else would I be doing while I do my laundry? I could play Legend of Zelda Minish Cap on my 3DS, which I just got, but no. I'm gonna record episodes of this. Alright, cool, we're back. She has to give us her stupid angry speech again. How inconsiderate. Blah, 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 blah. I'm a woman. Hear me roar. Alright. So, yep, this electric penis, as you can see, is now gone. Oh. <sighs> Great. So apparently, in case you didn't already realize what you had done, Navi's there to be, to put the puzzle together for you. Alright. Oh, and, oh, if we do this in a, okay. Oh, let's actually do this the right, the smart way. Let's, oh. Let's actually try and lock on to things. I think if you do this in the time limit, you get the compass. And with the boomerang, this is oddly, oddly easy, even though I was having trouble locking on at first. Alright, let's see. Oh, there's one more. Oh, now I might not actually... Wow, I am failing miserably. Here we go. Cool. Oh, maybe if you don't do it in the time limit, the door just doesn't open. I don't know. I should have, like, purposely not done it in the time limit, because I'm curious if it just restarts the room every time or what. And... Yep, so we get the compass from this room. I'm not 100% sure that this room, in fact it's not required because when you beat the big red penis there's actually two red. You know, that just totally it grossed me out. I just realized that Navi called the red penis, and I don't mean to be dirty here, but she called it a red slimy thing, which is even worse than like... So now you get that kind of like double gross imagery in your head. Alright, so we gotta go defeat another one of these guys, and... Way to reuse boss fights, jeez Zelda. Oh, not close enough. Alright, cool. And... Get our thing ready. Come on. I don't even think we need to move, like... Oh, maybe we do. Oh, that was close. Yeah, you can just stand there. Those guys are super simple. And... 
Alright, so now that we defeated that one, a different color of, uh, of slimy thing. Mm, that's even dirtier. Man, like, seriously, that's even dirtier than what I was saying. Navi, you have a dirty mind. They're not even slimy. Alright, so that will open this, this one. Uh, which will take us further into the te the temple. Oh, you know what? I know what that'll do. Alright, oh. So before, these jellyfish were kind of a problem for us, but guess what? They get one-shotted by the boomerang. Oh man, there's all these items and I'm missing out on them because I'm too busy defeating all these jellyfish. I don't remember really useful items. Alright, oh. Why did my lock-on go away? Oh crap. Alright. Oh, I got him and I got hit. Cool. And one more for the road. Oh, uh, he almost got me that time. Do we get a prize for this one? Nope. But what we do is something more interesting. So if we go look at the map, we will notice that... Whoops. Let's see here. There were some side rooms that we were unable to go to before. Um, and really... Oh, the saved. So the only way to get to those side rooms was through a hole in the ground. And that hole, or it was one of the holes in the stomach because this guy has terrible, terrible ulcers. Like, Jabu Jabu has all these ulcers. Um, oh man, but now I can't remember if it was this one. It was this one, yeah. There was a big slimy thing blocking this hole, so we couldn't go to the area we wanted. But look, now, when we come down here, we can totally, uh... Whoops. We can totally get to this platform, which will allow to get us to go to different areas of the dungeon that before were unreachable. And there's some other important stuff that we can do down here, namely... Firstly, we can take out Skultulas in... Oh, I thought that was going to be one hit. Well, either way, we can do something useful, though. Skultulas can no longer evade us because they're too far away. Oh, and he doesn't like getting boomerangs thrown at the inside of his stomach. Okay, right, cool. Dude, he doesn't... Dude, this Skultula doesn't even get phased by hitting, being hit by a boomerang twice. Doesn't even give a fuck. Alright. So yeah, that's pretty much all we have to do in this room, I do believe. Which will leave us headed... Wait, actually, what else is in this room? Oh, there's two little side rooms. Well, let's see what's in this one first. Oh! And look at that! The spiritual stone! And she wants us to throw her up there. But we're not gonna do it. We're gonna get that stone instead. What? Look at that. It won't even let me do that. It should totally let you do that. And then you could skip this boss fight right here. Spoiler alert. There's a boss fight right here. And hopefully I don't do badly at it. Sometimes I come into this boss and I just like ace it. And then other times I come into this boss and I just get my ass handed to me like old school style. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised I dropped it inside, but now that I've found it, I don't need to be in here anymore. Oh, uh, so she wants us to take her home. She says she comes in here all the time, and yet she can't. Okay, so now it's gonna let us. Oh wait, it's not. So, by the way, this is a kind of a weird inside of a stomach. I wish I knew my uh, my biology better, so maybe I could figure what part of the stomach this is. Maybe it's like a mitochondria, and it's using the food, and this thing grinds it up to make energy. I don't, I don't know how. Like I said, I don't have a superb knowledge of... Uh, oh, this is bad. So when I'm using this Oh no! 
So, when I'm using this Xbox controller, I've been having this problem that is going to be really, really bad in this boss fight. Where when I hit... Oh, this is better. When I... Oh, no. When I'm going diagonally, for some reason... Oh, okay. This might be a problem. I might have to... I'm going to go change the sensitivity on my controller. So when I go diagonally a lot of the time on this controller... I'm going to stop the recording right here, and then I'll explain this when I get back. Alright, that is so much better. Okay, so... Oh, let's go the other way, though. So before, I was having this problem, and I've been having it the whole playthrough, but I just didn't really care about it. Um, so the problem was that when I tried to run diagonally... I would just start walking for some reason, like, Link would literally just stop running and he would just walk really slowly, and so I figured it was something to do with the, uh, with the sensitivity, and, uh, obviously for a boss like this, that is a huge problem. Let's try and see if we can lock onto him. Yep, there we go. And... Here we go. Alright, cool. And we want to unlock on and go the other way now. But yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I didn't even care that much. I was like, I don't really need to fix it because most of the time I'm Z, I'm like, most of the time I change which direction I'm going with Z anyway, so I'm always running forward, so I never really cared. But then I got to this boss fight and I immediately saw the fault in my ways. Like, I was like, oh crap. I was like, I should have fixed this a long time ago and now I'm going to, uh, and now I'm going to experience the horrible dis decisions that I've made. So hopefully this guy has three hits because he's kind of bothering me right now. And like I said, I'm really glad I fixed that uh, sensitivity problem. Let's see if we can catch up. I'm sure he's programmed to change the direction every time before you can actually catch up to him. But let's see if... Let's see if I can't possibly... Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can do it catch up to him before he changes the direction. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, and that's not a winner. And this fight can make you dizzy. Oh, and there it goes. I'm running way too close to the edge. Hopefully I will not fail miserably and have to go through a ferry here. Oh, come on, log on. Oh man. Oh, he's gonna change the direction again if I don't shape up here. Yeah, I feel like I'm running really close to these spikes and I'm not getting any closer to them. I need to be like Goku and use Kaoken to get faster. And I did it. Luckily, now we get to demonstrate how fairies work. Seriously, like, I feel like I'm running right next to these spikes, and I'm not getting any closer to this guy. Oh, finally. Okay. Once you're locked on, it's money. Come on. Come on. Oh shit. Oh. 